Brought to you by Station House Coffee and Amazon. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The Ultimate Movie Championship! Episode 37 from IDP 281. This is the movie, this is the show, rather, where Keith Spurlock and myself sit down, randomly given two movies, and we must decide and argue and fight over which of these movies is more deserving of being on our ultimate movie list. So let's see how it all plays out in this episode right now. Uh, starting off with, seems like, two that probably will get passed up. Oh, no, The World's End. Oops, I haven't seen Hansel and Gretel, though. Have you seen The World's End? Hey, is that it's the, it's the Seth Rogen no, it's and uh, the world? Oh, is that it? I was thinking it was the no, that's, English. That's the Like end. the Hot Fuzz guys. But no, it's, no, they I go haven't. bar hopping. I haven't seen it. Though. Okay. It's okay. It's out of, out of the movies those guys have done. It's probably the weakest. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, I haven't seen Lincoln Lawyer. Neither of I wish I hadn't seen the other one. I uh, have not seen any of the Hobbit movies. I have. So we're looking for Batman versus Superman versus. I haven't seen it. Batman versus Superman. I haven't versus seen it. Lone Survivor. I have. It's way better. Not a great movie, but way better. I haven't seen it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is super easy. Uh, Super 8 versus Batman versus Superman. Super 8. The yeah. Battle of the Supers? Yeah. Super and eight. 8. is 8 is great. 8 is way better. Uh, haven't seen The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I have. I have, have not seen, seen Ghost Protocol. All right. I have not seen either one. I have not seen The Ghost Rider. I have not seen Boyhood. <laughs> I have not seen Hugo. I have seen Deadpool. Okay. 22 Jump Street versus Deadpool. Deadpool. Uh, both funny. Yeah. And I thought 21 Jump Street was I don't know, the better of the two. The first one they did. Yeah. Just because... Yeah, but the second one didn't feel like most comedy sequels. Yeah, it was like still it really good. It wasn't. A, it, I mean, it was basically they made fun of the fact that they're doing a sequel. It's so self-referential that the fact that it's a comedy sequel and it's basically all the same beats going again. Um, first Deadpool's one of the best comic book movies I've seen, which is saying a lot because there's a lot of comic book movies a lot out. Of them. And, uh, yeah, we'll go with Deadpool. The first Amazing Spider-Man. This is the Andrew Garfield, yes. Okay, I've seen it, too. Not seen. I'm yeah. glad that you knew I hadn't seen it. I, I have, hadn't I seen have it. seen this. Uh, I used to own it, unfortunately. I don't know if I've seen this. It seems like I rented it, but I don't really remember it at all. It's, uh, I know the premise, kind of. Uh, pizza guy gets taken hostage for some reason. By it, like the cast would make you think that it's gonna be great. Like Danny McBride and Nick Swartzen, yeah, are I think I heard that it the was. bad guys, yeah. and I'm pretty sure it's Aziz and I don't. Is it Jesse Eisenberg? I think it's Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I bought this movie because it was in the five dollar bin, and I just hadn't seen it, and I'm like, all these people are good. And, uh, yeah, it was boring as fuck. It was just was not good. All right, well, I haven't seen it. Uh, the Amazing Spider. Have you seen the X? No. Nope. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're for sure going to. That's a good one, though. Uh, nope. I haven't seen that one. That's, like, super recent. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Uh, Star Wars, The Force Awakens, the most recent Star Wars, if you're listening to this currently in 2016, October, versus The Amazing Spider-Man. From 2012. Reboot. Andrew Garfield. Of reboot, of reboot, of reboot, of dog shit, of bullshit, of fucking Sony not wanting to give up property, although they, they have made leniences and they're, they're doing... And that all the creative control is on Marvel. Right. 
and Sony just gets gets a cut, gets right, that right. fat stacks. That's good, that's good on fine. them. I'm good. Thank I'm you, glad Sony. They made that deal. Yeah, because yeah. Spider Man's a great character, and if it's and done I like right, the Spider Man. Because it's gonna be, isn't it gonna be that kid yep. from the the? Yeah. It's called Spider Man um, Home uh, Civil War. Civil War. Yeah, the, the new one's called Spider Man Homecoming. Right, and Ooh, uh, he's gonna be like the dance, inseminating his. Oh. They're they're gonna go to a dance. Hopefully they don't try to make it like a. Well, he's in high school. I know. Like they know. took it back to like him actually. Being, yeah, he's a kid. Cause like in of like in every other Spider-Man movie, they show him in high school for a second, then he's out. He's like, I'm yeah. in high school. And I got these like, powers. You graduated. They all like look. I mean, like Tobey Maguire was, he was like thirty something. Uh, yeah, he was. It's not late twenties. Andrew I mean, Garfield. Like kind of Andrew Garfield. Kind mid to late twenties. But like he kind of looked—he looked younger than Toby, I think. Yeah, kind of. But now this know. new kid actually is like sixteen. For, well, for now. Yeah. But that's like the last movie they're gonna—they probably scanned him, and then they're just gonna do like they did with uh, Robert Downey Jr. in the in yeah. that same movie. Younged him up. Star uh, Wars. Star Wars for sure. Uh, Real Steel versus Drive. You see Drive? Yeah. It's all right. A, P- I, a lot of people loved it. Yeah. It's I didn't, really I was like, slow. I was like, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, I get he it. He has a new movie that's that was out, Neon Demon, that's like... He's a good actor. Yeah, yeah. Well, he didn't direct it. No, I was but, talking uh, about... I was just talking about Gosling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like him. Yeah, it's like I didn't... There was... It's super slow. There's a couple good moments. And then Real Steel is just, just a stupid... Uh, like, I mean, you know... It's a boxing movie. It's a sci-fi boxing movie. Yeah. Basically. Um, but it was fun. So, it, Real Steel. I have, I have go Real Steel. Yeah. I mean, I'm not I, If I had to, to, had to watch anyway. either one, I'd rather watch a fun, corny movie than... Yeah, but I'll probably rewatch Drive before I rewatch just because, like, uh, you know... Uh, I have not seen Lincoln. I have not seen Lincoln. Oh, it's your, your boyfriend, though. It's the, your favorite actor. Oh, uh, Danny... Yeah. The, the double Lincoln. D? Yeah. Double D Lewis. The, double D Lewis? Uh, Shutter Island versus uh, everything uh, or nothing. I, the untold story of double seems seven. Seems like a documentary. I've not seen, seen the help. help me either. A lot of these I haven't seen either. Yeah. I've seen The Dictator. I have as well. It's terrible. And you seen Shutter Island? Yes, and I knew he was crazy from the previews. I, yeah, I, but it's like it's a good movie. It's good. And the twist isn't like it was make blatant or break the movie. from. A lot I, of people said that. I was surprised by. It. I didn't. I don't know if I just didn't see the trailers or whatever, um, but it surprised me. The end of it. Like I said, a lot. When of, I, here's the thing. I heard the same shit with Six Sense, and I'm sure some of it people dude, that, got it. I did not get that. Some pe- I, Def- I know, but I, I get some people got it. But there's a shitload of people that like to like act like, oh. I'm fucking brilliant, and I knew the twist way before anything blah, 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 yeah. blah, because I fucking read a blog, but I'm going to pretend like I figured it out on my own. There's a lot of people, not saying you're doing that, but when that movie came out, that's I heard that from, and it was always like those types of people that bullshit about stuff Yeah, that don't, they just like to sound smart, but they're fucking retarded. Um, I could, but I can that see that could be me. <laughs> um, I don't. I, I don't know if I just may have missed the trailer or something like that because I just, I wanted to see a Scorsese. Yeah. Um, no, it was, it was great acting and directing, yeah, yeah. but interesting. I, not the greatest Scorsese movie, but I wouldn't put it in this top worst. ten. Oh, for sure I would. He's done. He's done some stinker. His his early shit's not that great. I mean, I, I, I guess I'd it. have to look at his whole thing. To, yeah. but maybe he's done some. I it's mean, not in his top. He hasn't five. done that many movies. It's not in his top. First five. off, he hasn't done a shitload of movies. But like a top ten would be, like this could be it. It would definitely be towards the end of the list. But I think it would still make it in there. Shut versus up. the dictator. Versus it's is. Uh, I like Sasha, Sasha Baron Cohen. I've liked one movie he's done. <clears throat> what was it? The. The oh, best movie I uh, love saying the I I don't think I liked any of his other movies as much. I liked Ali G in the house. Never never got into it. I I've, I've seen it, but it's like it's something that I just never. Stuck I used in my to head. like his show when it yeah. was on. Yeah, uh, I never. I watched a few episodes. I did but not I didn't really like it. I 
Uh, the, I didn't like I didn't, him until I saw Borat. I, I did not like uh, his other character. I tried to watch Bruno. Bruno, yeah, Bruno wasn't into it. wasn't into that. Uh, um, this one, was, this one was just horrible. And it seems like every movie they put him in since looks corny as fuck. The one, the one with uh, where he's like the brother of that the looks spy, stupid as fuck. That looks way better than this. And this, I mean, this was horrible. Yeah, this was like, but I think that, that I think that other movie. one looks stupid as fuck too. Yeah, but it's like, it's just, but it seems like there's moments where at least there's probably going to be some fun. He's action. just like, I'm your dumb brother. There's nothing here. There's no action, at least, to make this interesting. It's just a bunch of like, uh, it's, he's. I mean, he's trying to make a like a like be edgy by, I don't know. It's it's it, ridiculous. Whatever he was trying to do, it it's didn't horrible. work. Horrible, and yeah, everything <laughs> I've noticed. Like I didn't see that movie. I don't. I'm not going to go see unless people are like, "Oh, he's back. He he did something good. He's good as like small small characters. Like he was Talladega in Nights. Hugo. Yeah, Talladega Nights. When it's not his shit. When he's not doing the same like reality shtick movie thing. That's pretty much done. Yeah, you, you know? did it. They did Ali it. G in the house though. That was not. It was like it was a movie. He was yeah. corny, and he was in a well. It's like uh, he's in a gang, and then he gets into Parliament. Yeah, um, I don't know if I ever watched that. Oh yeah, but haven't? I didn't like the show. So no, I Ollie G in the house. Really you shit. probably wouldn't like it then, but uh, yeah. it's it's corny and it's funny. I liked it. Yeah, it's like uh, like the the gag of the show was like, oh, I'm gonna be this ignorant, like urban kid, but I score these huge interviews, and I'm just gonna ask stupid shit and annoy him. Speak up. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't get this. This is just like, I don't, this isn't funny. It's just an awkward situation for like old people in charge of shit that I don't give a shit about. Exactly. It's like, you're making fun of people I already don't give a shit about. Like, I don't even know who they are. Couldn't give a shit who they, you know, they, they don't affect my day-to-day -day life as far as I know it. Uh, Shutter Island. And that's the twist. We're going with the dictator. Uh, I've not seen VHS. I have, well, and I have not good. seen the remake of Evil Dead. Yeah, is it a remake? Two thousand thirteen. Yeah, VHS is all right. Uh, have you seen Bernie? I uh, seen no. Hobbit. Bernie's all right. Uh, Wreck It Ralph. I've seen it. I have not King's seen the King's Speech. All right, we got one. Wreck It Ralph. King's Speech is whatever. Have not seen Saul. I haven't either. I have I not seen Beast of No Nation. Been able to see the movie that's out right now, which people are boycotting. Twenty One Jump Street. Falsely accused of rape, fucking ten years ago. Uh, Twenty One Jump Street versus Wreck It Ralph. I really liked Wreck It Ralph. I really liked both of these movies. But surprisingly, I was gonna say for uh, the genres. Yeah. But I, I think out of the two, 21 Jump Street for me. Yeah. Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. It was awesome and it was nostalgic, but I mean, it still, is, just, a, it still is a kid's movie. I mean, yeah, and it, it was, it's great for what it was. Like, it's one of the best ones of those, of those type of movies for me. I think they're doing a because sequel. I, oh yeah, too. they are. But yeah. because I had the nostalgia of playing most of those games and shit, but 21 Jump Street it was funny. Zero nostalgia for me. I have no. I don't think I've seen any original Twenty One Jump Street anything. No, I've never. Even though I know Johnny Aware Depp and it. Richard Grieco were in it, and uh, the kid that died young that was super talented, River Phoenix. Yeah, River Phoenix was in it at the show or something. I don't know. Um, or maybe the movie. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, Twenty One Jump Street was like surprisingly hilarious. Thin Jonah Hill. Well, as thin as he got, and then went right back. Korean Jesus was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, Korean Jesus was funny. Well, um, yeah, 21 Jump Street. wreck Ralph could beat a shitload of movies. Yeah. Ooh. I have not seen either. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't seen American Sniper, because it's a stupid fucking movie. Stupid fucking movie. Did not see... E well, no, I've, Warrior I saw. I've not seen... Did you Russell, see Warrior? Yeah. Okay. Obviously. Warriors, the MMA movie. Not bad. Brian Callen's the Joe Rogan. Tom Hardy's one of the, you know, the main character. True. True. Very true. 
Uh, versus, oh, shit. Nick Nolte plays a really good part in is that. It's really? like the fucking drunk dad. Yeah. I don't really remember the... I'm sure the fighting was like slow motion shitty fighting. It was good I camera really work. It, it was it was pretty all right. Uh, but Kurt Angle played like the Fedor character. It was like a tournament that like a tournament like that a three span, night like, or yeah one night after the next like oh yeah you're just weird, gonna be yeah. fine. But I liked it for like I mean it's the, no, I I haven't been able every other like you know tap out put out movies and like there's been a few other all those MMA m- movies George Save Here cameo karate movies are terrible I have I've never watched the full one I've started a bunch of them yeah but I, it's like, I was uh, like uh, this one it was all right well fucking right. Tom Hardy's a son of a bitch oh, he's actor a, he's, he's a fucking and, one of the best actors working right now yeah just he disappears in like, every character the guy he's like a a big guy and he, and he, he was slips though. right in he wasn't well bronson like in uh, he was big rock and roll yeah he got big for bronson he was yeah. big for bane and he got and then ripped for that max i mean uh, he's usually big but like if you see him in rock and roll as fucking handsome bob right he's fucking my that was size probably early yeah and then he probably bulked up yeah when he when he got rid of Guy Ritchie, Guy Ritchie's he, like, no, no, stay he didn't thin, look. Stay he thin. didn't look bulked up in that uh, in that little clip for that weird musical that he cameos in. Of course, uh, he, he was, could, like he was in, in a, a car, in a car, yeah. in, a, in like a coat. I mean, he looked normal. He didn't look th- like his face looked the same. Uh, but yeah, Warriors good versus Twenty One Jump Street, which is one of the better comedies that's come out. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I for sure. Sh- I mean, I have and will watch Twenty One Jump Street. I don't know if I'll ever need to re revisit Warrior if it's on. Like I'd throw it on maybe, but I'd probably seek out Twenty One Jump Street. Yeah. Like oh, I, I feel like well, I need to watch Twenty One Jump Street versus the Warrior. I'm not like because I watch we watch fucking I real, watch real MMA, MMA every week. Why am I gonna watch? Um, like and, I, and I've seen plenty of brothers fist fight. <laughs> yeah, it's just like yeah, they don't need the story of of that. Um, I say twenty one Jump Street. Korean Jesus wins again. Yeah, interesting. Who would have thought? Got, oh, I've seen both. Uh, we are the Millers. Which one is that? Uh, is that the one where they pretend to be people? Yes. I don't think I saw that. And Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Yes. Dude from like uh, the Daily Show or something, like that. Rob Corddry or not Rob? Corddry. No, it was uh, Ed Helms. Yeah. Or it's, I know I've seen all the or promos Jason for Sudeikis. it, but I don't know if one I've ever of, seen one it. of those two. The, those guys seem interchangeable to me. Yeah, I, I can't say that I've seen it. Man of Steel. The first. Oh, that's Superman. the first Superman uh, versus Warrior. Was, well, I'm glad this came back because I'll go with Warrior. Warrior. For sure, that's a horrible Although, poster, by the way. Man of Steel, better w- than better than one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Give us Man of Steel versus uh, BV shit. Don't tempt it. It'll, Gla- it'll no, hear that's, you. I'm glad to. I'd be f- totally happy if that happened. It's an easy. It's an easy choice. I have not seen uh, the sequel to Cloudy. Oh, I haven't seen either of these. I've I've seen the original Cloudy with the Chance of Me Meatballs. Too. I like it. It's a fun movie. Uh, I have not seen, not seen Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Uh, versus El Drivo. Uh, I haven't seen End of Watch, although I think that might be on Netflix. Ooh. Toy Story 3 versus Drive 1. <laughs> I'm going to go with the trace. I'm going with the uh, the story of the toys. Uh, Yeah. The third, the best. I don't know the best. Probably one of the best. It's really good. They're all good. Yeah. Love Toy Story. Sorry, Drive. You lost to a kid's movie. Uh, Did not see Prince <laughs> of Persia. You didn't miss much. I No desire to see it. No desire. Ooh. This is uh, an interesting so, one. Pl- uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That was the f- was that the first one? Second one. That was the second one. Um, versus Captain America: Civil War. Because there wasn't like 
Dawn, Rise, and then War or something is the next one. I don't know. I saw the promo for the new one, which isn't very impressive, but people are like, oh my god! Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. It's like but dust. I'm, it's like dark. It's like black. I'm screen, sure it'll be and then, just as good as the other two. They were pretty good movies. Yeah. I Hopefully it will be. Uh, But Captain America Civil War was... It was fucking spectacular to probably, me. Probably, yeah, one of the best comic book movies. I gotta go Civil War. Yeah. Sorry, Caesar. Ooh, I haven't seen the second one. Oh, I haven't seen either of these. You haven't seen the A-Team with Rampage Jackson? Nope. I think I downloaded it or rented it, but I don't think I ever watched it. I, did not see I have not seen years. Spy or Green Lantern. Uh, I have not seen Black Swan or Let Me In. I have not seen Cars 2. I have not seen The Hunger Games. <laughs> For us loving movies, we just fucking hate Spendables. Like I'm, I'm, I haven't seen that shit either. I haven't seen Jurassic World yet. You like the like the, all these that you're missing? It's all right. I've seen. Four. I know older movies. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll switch it up. We'll switch it up after this one. So Pacific Rim versus Thor. The first Thor. Uh, um, I don't give a shit about either of these movies. Um, one way or the other, don't give a shit. Thor. I know he's a character and all. I know I, I know I saw it. That's the one. She, uh, what's her face? Um, is in it, and she's not doing it anymore. Yeah. Uh, Natalie Portman. Which I love her, so I'll go with Thor just for Natalie Portman being in it. I'll go with Thor, too. Pacific Rim is... A, I just don't... I, still, I don't really I, give a shit about either of these movies. Really. I mean, I, I liked Thor, uh, and I got to see Asgard for the first time, so that was cool. Like, right. It was like his home yeah, place like, or whatever. Thor. Thor. All right, so we'll switch it up. I'm so Thor. <laughs> don't be Thor, man. Don't be so Thor about it. Uh, let's see here. Should we do... 90s. Let's try a genre. Are you... 90s? Let's do 90s. Let's do the next one. Ooh. <laughs> I've seen two both Disney of these. Movies. <laughs> I have 100% uh, seen I have both of as these. as well. Uh, my memory of both of them, but I have feelings. It's cloudy, but I have feelings. With a chance of maybes. Cloudy with a chance of maybe balls. Uh, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, which I didn't know. I'm assuming that's the first one. Yeah. Uh, versus The Three Musketeers. Both Disney movies. Um, Homeward Bound. The animals do they get left on vacation, or do they go on vacation and the the animals go to f- but something like they go happens. on a cross they, country. Yeah, it's a road movie with animals like a, a and Milo Notice, is that the kind of yeah, the pug and the cat. Yeah. Uh, but they talk, but the, their mouths don't move. What's well, same with Milo Notice? Kind of voiceover, kind, kind of like uh, how they did in uh, Look Who's Talking. Mm. And Look Who's Talking now. People just used to say shit, and we just accepted that. Yeah, before they could started manipulating animate, yeah. mouths and shit. Uh, I, I the Three Musketeers was never my jam. Like I watched it a couple times, and yeah. uh, Chris O'Donnell, young Chris O'Donnell, up in I that piece. I wouldn't even remember Kiefer Sutherland. Any of them in there. is in oh, that? Yeah, Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, uh, that kind of rings a bell. But I'm going Homeward Bound. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's uh, this is an interesting matchup. Homeward Bound, it is. All right, moving on to the next one. I've seen both of these. Oh, for sure. Uh, the classic Whitney Houston hit, The Bodyguard, or I uh, probably her only movie, which she was basically herself in. I think she was in a couple. I don't know, maybe. Uh, versus Hot Shots Part Du. I gotta give it part to the Du. du. But it's Kevin Costner. I don't give a to. fuck. It's like, uh, and I, it's a, I, yeah, it's like that song is better than most movies. Yeah, but yeah, I go Hot Shots on this one. Searching. You better be saving my choice. Uh oh. All right. 
I don't know if I've. I definitely have seen that. I'm sure I have, have and I go? have. Yeah. Okay. And I have no recollection of it. Yeah. Sorry, Star Trek Six. Uh, don't. Never heard of Dave. Sorry, Dave. I've seen Dave. Uh, ooh, I don't know this one. <laughs> uh, so our number one movie, Office Space, is going up against Go. A fun little These are both ninety nine movie about a little bit of ecstasy. <laughs> it was kind of like multiple stories and uh, kind of how they Jay Moore in that. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, Office Space. Yeah. Enough talking about that shit. <laughs> we accidentally convinced ourselves that it's better. I have not seen Dolores Claiborne. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen Fern Gully. Oh, I mean, really? I've seen Avatar. I've totally seen. I, it Fer- seems I've seen Fern Gully probably a hundred times because my little sister loved it. See, I think I, I've been over at friends' houses and it was like on or some shit, but I don't think I've ever watched it. Like I've seen, I've seen it. It's all right. I mean, I if what it. my memory says, but yeah. I haven't seen it as an adult. It's uh, just watch Avatar. Apparently, it's the same. Shit. Yeah, but I don't really like Avatar. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, whew, Hackers versus Beverly Hills Cop Three. Is three the one with uh, Brigitte Nielsen? I, honestly, or is that the one where I he's back in Detroit? Uh, I honest, I know I've seen all three, but I can't. I can't tell you what's but, in three. But I will take any Beverly Hills Cop movie versus Hackers. I liked Hackers. Hackers was horrible. It's a. T- I've watched it lately. I loved it as a kid. Horrible. It's not that good now. It is horrible. It was fun when you were like a stupid kid and like computers and cyberspace. Like, oh, wow, futuristic. This is futuristic. I just like, but I like, thought Angelina Jolie was hot. And I'm pretty sure you saw like a, a titty. boy with tits. She looks like a dude with tits in this movie because she has short hair. And her short face, hair doesn't matter to me. She's but she, got... it's like she looked like a, she had boy face with with tits. I get it. She's hot. I've never been that attracted to Angelina Jolie, and that's probably the least attractive she's ever looked. Yeah. She, then she grew out her hair, and then she looked like a, like a normal. She, but it's still like she's never been. I've never been that. She's always looked fake as shit, even though I'm sure it, like she had the same lips back then. But it's like she just happened to be naturally blessed with oversized collagen filled lips. She always had that shit. Yeah, which like, there's pictures of her as like a, a little girl, and she has that shit. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, she, I've never been, and that was the least attractive she's ever been. Versus... I'll go Beverly Hills. Just Eddie Murphy. Yeah. I mean, Eddie Murphy, whatever. He's, he's taken shits that are more... Not really. He's done a lot of dog shit movies. It's probably the last good movie he did. Was Beverly Hills Cop 3. I've uh, not seen that Jackie Chan movie. That's Jackie Chan. Kind of looks like him. Um, I don't think I've seen Jack Frost either. I'm almost positive Jack Frost is uh, Michael Keaton, mm-hmm. and he turns it's into like a, a horror. No, Christmas there's movie, no. Right? There, there is another Jack Frost that's a horror. Uh, this is like a family movie where yeah, okay. I think the dad dies and he becomes a snowman, and then like he gets to say goodbye to his son before he melts away, and like, yeah, sounds complex. Like a great reason that I didn't ever watch it uh flatliners versus wild things flatliners now this is of... an interesting one yeah yeah we um, got what kevin bacon uh Kiefer sutherland julia roberts and uh some other people some other people the, those are the three important versus people. basically versus like... the pool threesome scene or lesbian scene uh, between Denise Richards and Nev Campbell, I but believe. But it's like not even lesbian scene because they're like, it's when being uh, a bisexual for chicks was fine. Yeah. It was being, it was like the early stages Th- of being That was being still a, a, a very rewound fucking clip yeah, in every like, VHS. It's, it's like, it's the porn you can rent yes. for one scene and then the Matt, rest of, it's like uh Matt showgirls Dillon. yeah showgirls is kind of like that yeah Matt Dillon's in that uh it, they made well, a well, sequel right but i think I'd i like flatliners. flatliners i don't i the premise of flatliners like they kill themselves yeah. and then like while they're dead they're able to like they go somewhere i don't really remember the movie completely but just the premise of the movie i yeah. know is 
but then they like it. It's like, it's just, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'd re- I'd really like to watch Flatliners again. I, there's like porn, so I don't need to watch Wild Things. There's just like websites where they give it away for free. Uh, I've definitely not seen that Batman. Have you seen Stir of Echoes? Yes. Okay. The first DVD I ever bought, Stir of Echoes. Second DVD I ever bought, American Pie. I have not seen The Siege. Um, I'm in. boring, slow, boring. Don't you don't have to. It's all good. Ooh, Stir of Echoes versus Clear and Present Danger. Harrison Ford doing the whole that whole uh, I forget what the character's name is, but there's a whole series of movies based on the Jack Ryan, I think. Fucking, uh, it's not the same guy from the Air Force One, too. No, he was the president on Air Force yeah, One. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, but there was a whole series. Even uh, Ben Affleck played him in, I think it was Clear and Present Danger? No, that's what that is. <laughs> two? It's, uh, <laughs> it was a movie that came out like O2 with uh, him and the black dude that always plays God. I can't think of his name. Um, um, the Voice. Yeah. God damn it, Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan Freeman and Ben Affleck were, I think it was Morgan Freeman. Phantoms? No, 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 no. It was based on, he's like a, he's like a high level security. Huh. Um, Regardless, kinda, Stir of Echoes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Clear was, Present Danger is a good movie. Stir of Echoes good, good was, action movie. was not what I thought it was going to be when I walked into it. It, it was yeah. all right, but out of the two, I'd probably w- rather watch that. It's weird. Um, they're both, I mean, it just depends, it would depend on my mood. Yeah, Stir of Echoes, because I've definitely rewatched it, but it's like, it's definitely, it's kind of weird, you know, kind of, a lot of, it's kind of like a, just a simple kind of horror idea. Yeah. And it had the song, do ding do 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 whatever the fucking song is. Uh, but yeah, Stir of Echoes, Kevin Bacon, the Bakesters. Uh, let's do a couple more. Uh, Night at the Roxbury versus Mission Impossible 1. I have a feeling I know what you're going with. And I know what I'm going with. And I feel like we're going to not have the same one on this one. But uh, not a big fan of uh, Night at the Roxbury. It's not that great. It's uh the skit. I'll, I'll, I did I'll watch, go Mission Impossible I did on watch this one. Uh, Saturday Night uh Saturday Night Live when those skits yeah. were going on. Probably the only kind of generation of Saturday Night Live I watched yeah, and then pr- I just pretty much. Um but yeah the It was movie a fun was... skit, but to draw drag it out into a full length movie, they did that with a Chris couple. Chris Catan was like annoying. And he had so many he did the God, what was the movie he came out with in like late nineties. Yeah, it was terrible. The The son of a mob boss or whatever. Yeah, 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 whatever. Oh, so bad. Uh, Terrible. Superstar. There was a lot of Saturday Night Live movies that came out, and they just, like, flops, except for Will Ferrell got his... Um, Yeah, but that was early. Like, the earlier ones did better, but, like, towards the late 90s, it was just horrible. Um, Have you seen either of these? I've seen seen Ghost Dog, and I've seen Godzilla. Okay. Uh, Ghost Dog Way of the Samurai. Uh, God, what's his name? Um, yeah, Forrest Whitaker. It's Forrest Whitaker uh, versus Godzilla, which is his eyes even all fucked up in the, <laughs> in the <laughs> fucking poster. Well, this is probably that's the fucking fan, fan shit like, yeah. right there. But uh, uh, they're both terrible movies. Soundtrack to Godzilla was pretty good. Yeah, but it was a terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. It wasn't good. Matthew Broderick was... I would probably rather watch why do that look, than the newest one. Why do he look just so annoyed that there were... Like, he wasn't scared. He was just, like, yeah. annoyed that there were giant monsters. And then it had a million little fucking Tyrannosaurus babies running around. I don't even remember the movie that much. I it's remember terrible. Like, yeah, I mean, I remember watching it, but I had the soundtrack. Doesn't I oh, love well, the yeah, soundtrack. the soundtrack. <laughs> Whatever. Great. Had like Foo Fighters. Ghost Dog's it. probably a better movie. <sighs> it's not that good. I mean, it's like it's an independent movie, and it's you know he's a black dude that is like uh, thinks he's a samurai yeah. and 
kind of does stuff, but they don't really show anything. No, it's it's a lot of him doing like tai chi with slow the sword. As fuck, it is slow. I'd go with Godzilla just because it was a f- more fun. I'd rather. Well, I have no desire to revisit Ghost Dog. Like if they were both on. Like there's, I had two channels. Yeah, I'd probably. They're both on right now. Or they're go, coming up in ten minutes. So they're like, ooh, I'm for sure. I'd rather watch I'll, Godzilla. I'll go with Godzilla just because yeah. of that. But they're both terrible. Yeah, I like watch Godzilla, do the dishes, smoke some weed. I don't know. All right. Um, I have not species seen gross is point blank. Uh, okay, species is another one of those uh, shitty movies that you could jerk off to. Yeah. Um, species versus Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Let's do another one. Yeah. <laughs> that was too easy. All right, this last one. Uh, I have not I seen Mouse Hunt. So. I don't think. Wait, I seems like I have. I think it's like a. Is that the it's one? Like a Home Alone style, but instead of a kid, it's a mouse. I don't know. What's or the, it's got people in it? What's the one? I haven't seen it. Rat Race was what I was thinking. Rat of. Race, and I've seen. That's like where they're on a they're race. They're all trying to get this money, and yeah. it's a bunch of different people. Yeah, and they play Smash Mouth at the end of it. Pro- it ends yeah. at a Smash Mouth concert, actually. Where they like at land the in a hot air balloon or something. Ah, it's, so, it's ridiculous. Um, Predator 2. I don't know if I've Danny seen Glover. Predator 2. It's in, in I L.A. I probably have. I probably, I mean... Sure, Let's pretty just sure say Gary, I have. Gary Busey's the bad government guy in that. Versus Austin Powers the Spy Shag Me. Austin Powers the Spy Who Shag Me. That's the one I'd go with. It yeah. If it it's was like any of the other ones. If it I'd was against Predator with. One, I would probably go Predator One. That Predator would probably two, be Predator different. Two's it's good. Not a lot of people like it. I thought it was alright, but I mean it was essentially Danny Glover playing fucking Riggs, or is, was he Mur? He's Murtaugh, All right? Yeah, he, yeah. He's Mur. He was playing Murtaugh, fighting a fucking predator, right? And it's not he, like I, for sure I've seen it. I'm too old for but, this shit. Yeah. He kills one at the end, and then they show him mad respect. And in that end scene, like and he's on their spaceship, yeah. Uh, they show a skull of an, an alien, a xenomorph. And that's how the whole fucking idea spawned of Alien versus, versus Predator. Predator. Right. Versus uh, Austin Powers. Powers. Ooh. I haven't seen funny, funny games. games. This is very good. All right, let's well let's <laughs> let's get I, an upvote I, I for Fight Club. I kinda wanna see Fight Club. <laughs> but I don't, because I don't know. All right. Yeah, let's do one more. Office Fight Club space. versus <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's what I was like. Bring uh, out the dead, I haven't seen out, it. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> That's the Scorsese film that I'm not a fan of. Uh, I know what you did last. Oh Jesus, this one's gonna be hard. I know what you did last summer. The original, <laughs> kind of following in the scream pantheon of horror film. I still Teen know what film. you did last summer. The and sequel, I, yeah. And then I don't know. I re- I recall that I, time you sure once I, did something. During I just the saw fall. my uh, <laughs> Facebook reminded me that three years ago you did this thing last <laughs> Remember summer. that one time in the spring? <laughs> my Facebook update uh, versus Fight Club, you know, a movie that has become... It's kind of weird, like, when it came out, a lot of older people hate... Like, people walked out. Walked out of Fight Club. Just, this is like, this has no... This has no value. Just angry old people. Mm, and then... Them. Yeah, and then it becomes just like... It's like a cultural... The other day Thing. at work, uh, the Pixie song came on. Oh, someone's man. and I, I'm in the back and I cranked that shit. Like I'm pretty sure people in the dining room could hear it. And I, I, no one complained. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. better not either. It's a good song, <laughs> and it's clean. It's not like there's anything to complain about. Um. All right. So that's it. Be sure to check out our sponsor, Station House Coffee, on Instagram and StationHouseCoffee.com. Order coffee, have it delivered directly to you for small batch, single origin, premium coffee, brewed in Vermont, shipped directly to you. Go to StationHouseCoffee.com and order your coffee now. Also, shop on Amazon. Support the show and use the link InspiredDisorder.com/Amazon. It'll take you to Amazon. You shop just like you normally would. But a small percentage comes to this show to help support the show. And all you have to do is buy stuff on Amazon. So go to inspireddisorder.com slash Amazon. That's the link, inspireddisorder.com slash Amazon. It'll take you to the store. 
You order whatever you want, and it ships directly to you because you know how Amazon works. Be sure to follow at Spurlock one on Twitter. New episodes come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork and merchandise for this show over at InspiredDisorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace out!